Here we go. Are you ready? Because this is your choose a photo prediction for this month. Sorry in advance if you hear any strange noises, there's people working on the outside of the house today, so it is what it is. But this is one of my most popular, most requested videos that I make each and every month, so I'm gonna do something even extra special this month, which I'm gonna share about in just a second. But in this video, I'm gonna give you an accurate prediction on what's gonna happen for you this month. So if you've been needing an answer or guidance on what's next, this video is for you. And as usual, I'm not only going to give you the exact message that you need to hear today, but I'm also gonna share a prediction on what's about to happen for you this month. And I'll also be sharing a meditation you can use based on whichever photo you choose. So you're not only going to get the message and prediction that you need to hear, but I'm also sharing some really great tools that you can take action on to amplify your results. And like I mentioned, as an extra little bonus this month, I'm also going to give you a very specific action step that will really help you maximize this whole practice. This way you'll know exactly what you also need to be doing too. Because I find that so often we take in all of this information without actually integrating it. So this action step is really gonna kind of connect everything together so you're not questioning whether or not you're doing enough or doing too much because no one wants to second guess or question themselves. So here we go. Listen up because you are about to hear exactly what you need to know. And these videos are so unbelievably accurate that time and time and time again, people tell me just how shocked they are. So I cannot wait to dive into this month's. If you've been here before, you know the drill, but just in case you're new here, how it works is that I'm gonna put up four photo cards up on the screen at the same time, and then I'm gonna give you an accurate prediction and manifestation message that you need to hear based on whichever photo you choose. And if you like these types of videos, I actually have a whole playlist that I'm gonna link down below called the Choose a Photo Playlist, where you can find more of these types of videos and get all of your messages and predictions. And that's my dog snoring. It's a very noisy house today. <laughs> And really quickly, if you're new here, I'm Mary Kay and I'm a mindset coach and manifesting expert focused on getting you transformational results. My whole channel is all about manifesting the law of attraction with meditations and more, where I share the tools you need to get the results you want. I post brand new videos every single Wednesday, so be sure to subscribe and also hit that bell notification so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. And before we get into the video, go ahead and hit that little thumbs up button below if you like these types of videos so that I know to make more for you. It takes just a quick second, but it lets me know that you're watching and getting value from these videos. So once you do that, let's get started. Now, like I've mentioned in my other Choose a Photo videos, this is not tarot, it's not any kind of psychic thing. This is actually based through psychology, energy, visualization, and interpretation. And also, like I mentioned, you are most likely going to be shocked at just how accurate this gets. So here's how it works. In just a moment, I'm gonna show you the four photos up on the screen at the same time. And without overthinking it or going too deep or going back and forth, you are going to pick just one. Pick just one, don't get caught up or torn, not the one you think is pretty, pick the one you feel drawn to. And I'm gonna tell you what it means, what's about to happen for you, your prediction, your action step, all of it. So trust yourself and notice the first one your eyes seem drawn to. You will instinctively know which one to choose. And something I highly recommend doing is to come back to either this video or any of the other videos in the Choose a Photo playlist, either tomorrow or in a few days or a few weeks, and see if you're drawn to the same photo or a new photo and see kind of what messages keep coming up for you. So here are the four photos. And again, just pick one and I will tell you the message and prediction based on whichever one you choose. Here they are and you have just a few seconds to choose. If you chose the first photo of that blue ice, here is the message and prediction that you were meant to hear as well as an affirmation and a meditation that will benefit you the most this month. It might be feeling like no matter how much effort you put in or no matter how hard you work or how much you do, the results of your efforts are feeling so slow or maybe you aren't even seeing evidence of any results yet. But that doesn't mean you need to do more. It doesn't mean you need to push harder or that what you're doing isn't working. It just means that the circumstances and timing haven't lined up quite yet. And as frustrating as that might feel, think of it this way. Life happens in stages. Receiving things happens in stages. Imagine if you were thrown into some of those bigger things that you have in your life or those big things that you've accomplished too early. Imagine if you were just thrown in too early. You wouldn't have been able to handle it or sustain it because it wasn't time yet. If I handed you the keys to a million dollar house, but you couldn't afford the monthly mortgage yet. What good would that do? You got the house, you can't sustain it. Or if you got that high paying dream job, but you didn't have the actual skill 
skill set to work it, it would probably all fall apart. It's when the timing and circumstances line up. That right there is when your manifestation can show up because you have to be able to maintain it. So instead of rushing it or feeling frustrated, normalize the fact that right now in the in-between, you are expanding into a new level that will soon become normal. It will be able to sustain these bigger things in this next level that you're working toward. So enjoy it. Enjoy the fact that you are growing and expanding and becoming exactly who you need to be to have what you want. Everything that you're going through is getting you ready. And if you chose this photo, I highly encourage you to not only use, but to fully lean into one of my favorite affirmations, which is, I don't know how or when, but I know that it will happen. I don't know how or when, but I know that it will happen. You can almost breathe a sigh of relief after saying it because it allows you to take your hands off gripping onto that wheel, trying to control things that aren't up to you. And also, if you chose this photo, be sure to start listening to either the Law of Assumption meditation or the Magnet meditation. I'm gonna leave links to both down below. Feel free to try them out, see which one works best for you, or use them both. And your prediction is, is that if you chose this photo, you are going to start seeing paint everywhere. It can show up in so many different ways. It can be paintings or physical paint or maybe paint cans or paint brushes. You are going to start seeing evidence of paint and painting all over. Painting supplies, paint. That's your prediction. And when you see it, let it be a reminder of the power that you have to create. But how it all comes together is something that comes in phases and stages, but it always comes together. And like I mentioned, this month, I wanted to add in a little something extra, so I wanted to give you a concrete action to start using this month. If you chose this photo, I want you to begin a daily practice. One where you say to yourself three times when you wake up, three times in the middle of the day, and three times before you fall asleep, this phrase. What do I need to know or do to have what I want? What do I need to know or do to have what I want? It sounds simple, but doing this will actually help bring you the guidance and clarity and situations and circumstances that will line up the timing and make it happen for you faster. It will line up all the circumstances that you need. It's going to get you into that version of you, the version of you you need to be in order to have what you want. So try it out and watch what happens. It doesn't take much time. And yes, you can combine it with different techniques that also use this reticular activating system program. And also don't forget to keep an eye out for that paint. If you chose the second photo of the bubble, here is the message and prediction that you were meant to hear as well as an affirmation and a meditation that will benefit you the most this month. If you chose this photo, you've likely been operating under a series of limits that you've placed and parameters that you've placed around your life. You can almost think of it like you're living inside of this invisible box that you've created on what life looks like, how it gets to be, and how things get to be. And this box has been created by a series of beliefs that you hold that in turn keep you safe and inside of your comfort zone. And this is honestly normal. It's human nature to operate within a set of parameters. It's a safety mechanism. But if you don't step outside of these invisible limits that you've placed for yourself, how do you expect to see any different results in your life? Because you can only attract from the level that you're operating from. And right now you're operating from the way that things are instead of the way that things could be. You're only seeing the reflection of what things are like right now and how they have been in the past. And you're letting that set the parameters for the future. But what if you changed your mind? What if you raised your standards and did something new or something bold or made a different move? Because the more you can follow those gut instincts, those gut impulses, and the more you can trust yourself while also stepping outside of your comfort zone, the faster you can break out of this box and finally expand into new levels of abundance and new levels of receiving. There was actually this famous study that was done where they put fleas in a jar with a lid. And over time, even after removing the lid, the fleas continued to stay within the jar because they didn't know and they were so deeply conditioned that they couldn't get out that even when the lid was off, they still weren't jumping out because they were living in that invisible barrier that they had created based on past circumstances. There used to be a lid. They operated with the fact that there was a lid. Even when the lid was off, they never jumped out. So take off the lid because you are only limited by what you choose to believe. Beliefs are a choice. So if you're believing something that isn't serving you, change your mind. And if you chose this photo, be sure to start playing around with the affirmation, anything and everything is possible for me. 
It's my job to pursue what I desire. And also be sure to start using the belief reprogramming meditation or the self-love self-concept meditation. And if you chose this photo, your prediction is that you are going to start seeing ladybugs everywhere. They could be in a person, it could be in a picture or someone talking about a ladybug. Just watch how often these ladybugs start showing up for you. And when you see them, let it be your little reminder that you are free to fly and expand and follow what you desire. There's no lid on your jar. You're free. And like I mentioned, this month I wanted to add a little something extra in. So I'm going to give you a concrete action for you to start using this month. If you chose this photo, I want you to start really observing yourself, observing your thoughts and your actions with a gentle curiosity. Every time you say no to something that you want to do, or any time you make a decision based on your current circumstances, I don't want you to fight it. I just want you to notice it. I want you to look at it with the observation of, isn't that interesting? Not judging or forcing anything, just looking at how you're operating, your thoughts, your beliefs, your behaviors, your actions, and saying, isn't that interesting? I'm operating because of past circumstances or possibility. And notice if there's any patterns that come up and where those patterns came from. So start to observe yourself from that gentle, curious place and realize that everything you've been operating from is based on past circumstances and you can change your mind at any time. If you chose the third photo with that key door with the universe behind it, here is the message and prediction that you were meant to hear as well as an affirmation and a meditation that will benefit you the most this month. If you chose this photo, this is your sign that somewhere in your life, you've been waiting for permission or sort of just kind of sitting on the sideline waiting for the right circumstances. And I don't necessarily mean permission in the form of yes or no, but like I said, it could even be in the form of hesitation or resisting something until everything is perfect or the way you imagined it or the timing is just right. But here's the thing, this is not a dress rehearsal. Your life is happening right now all around you. And this is your chance to experience what life has to offer. If there's something that you've been wanting to do, what are you waiting for? Stop waiting for permission. Stop waiting for validation. Just go follow where you feel led because you don't need anyone else's permission when it comes to following what feels right to you, what instinctively feels right to you. You don't need someone to tell you that you're doing a great job or someone to compliment you. I mean, that's always nice, but what if you just courageously go for it without needing anything from anyone? What if you followed where you felt led, knowing that when you do, the path always shows up and it always works out for you because that is the truth. You take the first step and the path forms as you go. Your message is to stop waiting and to start intuitively following where you feel called and where you feel led. You don't need to have it all figured out. You don't need to explain yourself to anyone. And most of all, you do not need permission. And if you chose this photo, your prediction is that you are going to start seeing elephants everywhere. Yes, elephants. I know it does not have to be in person. You don't have to see an elephant walking through your living room. This could be on TV. It could be in a photo. It could be in a statue. It could be in a sticker. Just watch how often elephants start to show up for you. And when you do, let it be a reminder to be courageous and to follow where you feel led. Elephants are full of courage. I just watch this whole documentary on them. And if you chose this photo, also be sure to start listening to the receive and release meditation or the success activation subliminals. And like I mentioned this month, I wanted to add in something a little extra. So I'm going to give you a concrete action to start using this month. Your action is to start doing one brave thing each week for this entire month. And no, this does not have to be anything huge or overwhelming. It could be something as simple as facing something you've been afraid of or facing something that you've been kind of like putting off or resisting, or maybe even just going outside your comfort zone. It could even be in the form of maybe complimenting someone or letting them know how you feel. Take one or more brave steps each week for the next month and watch how quickly things begin to shift for you. And if you chose this photo, be sure to start using the affirmation I am meant to have what I want. I trust myself completely. I am meant to have what I want. I trust myself completely. And if you chose the fourth photo of the white dots with those lines, here is the message and prediction that you were meant to hear as well as an affirmation and a meditation that will benefit you the most this month. If you chose this photo, it's very, very good news. Something big 
is going on behind the scenes right now. And the good news is it's just all working out in your favor. Even if you can't see evidence of it right now, even if you can't see all the different things lining up, there are so, so many connections being made and things that are being rearranged for you to receive something that you've been wanting. The situations, the circumstances, the people, the places, the things, the events, all of it, all of it is lining up to give you exactly what you want, but there's a catch. You have to stay out of your own way. You can be excited, but be careful not to obsess over it or overthink it or force it. And instead, get into a relaxed state of receptivity. One of my favorite ways to describe that relaxed state of receptivity is ease. That feeling of, of course it's mine. And when you're that sure and you're that certain, it would be laughable to even try to do anything because you already fully know it's yours. You wouldn't obsess over water. You could just go to your fridge or your counter and grab a glass of water. Of course you could. You wouldn't obsess over the bed that you sleep in every night because it's there, it's obvious. You just go lay down in it. So how can you get into that same relaxed, receptive state of ease around allowing this major thing to be worked out for you. Because in that place of ease, that is where mountains are moved and things come together to create miracles. That is the truth. And by the way, if you chose this photo, be sure to watch this video. I'm going to link up here and down below after watching this, because that's going to show you how to really tap into and access this energy and vibration of ease, which is exactly what you need specifically right now. And also be sure to start listening to the release and receive meditation or the daily affirmation activation. I'm going to link both of those down below for you to try out. Feel free to use them both. Try one, do what works best for you. And your prediction is that you are going to start seeing oranges everywhere. Yes, oranges. It could be in person. It could be in a store. It could be someone talking about an orange or eating an orange. It could be an orange grove. Watch how often you start seeing oranges. And like I had mentioned this month, I'm going to also give you a concrete action to start taking. So if you chose this photo, the action that you need to take this month is to do one small thing each week to create an abundance avalanche. And this is honestly really fun. And what I mean by that is one small action that actually solidifies that you are abundant and you have more than enough and you don't have to go crazy. This could be a small action like picking something at the grocery store that you normally wouldn't buy because you know that you have more than enough to spend on it. Or you can do something, which is my personal favorite, paying it forward. Maybe buying the person behind you in line a coffee or donating to your favorite charity, or maybe even just complimenting someone when you notice something nice about them, even a stranger. Honestly, this is my favorite because the world could use a lot more kindness overall. And the truth is you have the power to do that. You have the power through one small gesture to create an avalanche of abundance that could truly reach across the country. Your one small action could affect someone thousands of miles away from you. That is how powerful you are. So one small act of abundance each week, you get to choose but do it intentionally with where you feel called and where you feel led. This will build on itself. It creates so many abundant miracles for you. So those are the four photos. Let me know which one you chose, if it was one, two, three, or four, and if the message resonated with you. And also don't forget to do your actions. The actions are new this month, so don't forget them. I truly love hearing your results from these videos, so please comment below. And like I mentioned, if you wanna watch any of the other Choose a Photo predictions like this one, you can click the link in the description box below for the Choose a Photo playlist. And if you like this, video and want more videos like this, go ahead and comment below so I know to make more for you. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you can be notified whenever I post a new video. You can also find me over on Instagram and threads at mkmagicmindset and if you want to learn more about me, my programs, how to work with me and more, you can visit my website at mkmagicmindset.com and I will see you in the next one.